Hi everyone, welcome to this Twinmotion 2020 tutorial series. In this presentation, you will learn how to use the new media tool that we completely reworked. The general idea was to simplify the video creation process by allowing you to create multiple videos and put them together in one single space. So let's start by pausing this video and I will actually quit this video and create a new one with you. So let's just move the camera uh, somewhere near the front of my project to have a nice point of view on my houses. And to create a new video, I just click on the big plus button, create video. It plays a first keyframe. This is the starting point of the video. Then in Twinmotion, we have added a few texts uh, that help you understand what you need to do. So here, move in the project and click here on the small plus. Twinmotion has created a second keyframe and it has automatically created the animation between the two keyframes. I like to work with a more cinematic camera. So to change that, I will come to the settings of this specific part. Come to the camera option and change the focal to something like 50 millimeters. Now I just need to update my point of view to keep my houses in the middle of my frame. So I just move and I will click on the recapture button. Same thing on my second keyframe. As you can see here, my project is not completely in focus. So just moving the camera and again, pressing the recapture button. And now my shot is fine. I can of course create any number of keyframes. So I can keep my camera moving and click on the small plus button. And here I have three keyframes set up. Now, if I want to create a new part, let me actually choose a completely different point of view somewhere over here uh, from a top view, for example. Here is the new video part button that will create a new keyframe in a separate part. Same thing here, just moving my camera, clicking on the small plus button. And again, here I've created a second part. Now I have two parts in this specific movie. What I can do is collapse my part in cards. In this state, I can change the transition from cut to fade to black to fade to white. So for example, at the start of my clip, I can start with a fade to black, for example. Let's just switch back to my cut. Here with the grip, you can also move the different part and reorganize your animation. I can also choose to expand only one part over here and I can now edit just this specific one. For example, in this shot, I just want to change the time of day. So we'll come to the settings and just change the time of day on this specific shot. And it didn't change the time of day on the first one, as you can see here. Now let's actually create a third part. Now just want to have a nice close up. Uh, you can move the camera on the parking lot and have a close up on the metal wire, metal cable that we have here. So I'll just click on the plus button. This will create again a new part. On this specific part, first I will change time of day. Uh, so we have some nice sun coming in front of our image like that. Then uh, what we can also do is change the shadow distance. Right now they are casted over 800 meters and I just want to raise the quality of the shadow. So I just uh, lower the size. Here I just moving, move this car so we have uh, a nice impact of the sun in front of the image. It's not <laughs> completely black. And finally, what I want to do is enable the new DOF. With the new default field, uh, we first uh, introduce a new tool that helps you uh, choose which area of your image are in focus. You can just pick in my image my parking lot, but I can also manually type the distance. I think I start to like this shot. So what I want to do is just put it at the end. So same thing here. I collapse this part and I just expand this part back in. What I will do now is just put, uh, make a slight camera movement, uh, something like that. So I just have a nice, a simple movement, just two keyframes. And I want to uh, animate the camera, the DOF, of, the DOF effect. 
So here I just set up the dove differently on my first keyframe and now as you can see here the, the animation of the default field is animated from one keyframe to another. On the first keyframe is set really close on the second on the parking. So here I'll just create a third keyframe so I'm moving this camera away as you can see here, we still have the shadow casted over 100 meters, so we'll create a new part and we just come to the setting and change that to 600, 700 meters. Yeah, we have the shadow on the background, that's fine. I just also disable the depth of field on this specific shot, we don't really need that. So what I want to do in this shot is create a time lapse. So I just create a nice point of view. Right now, this keyframe is set up in the morning. Just going to create a second keyframe so we have a, a slight movement. So let's check this first keyframe. Maybe we can add some clouds, uh, a, few, a little rain. We can even add some fog. Yeah, something like that. Start to look good. We can maybe change the time of day. So let's see how it looks. Now we are good at around 8 a.m. And in the second keyframe, what I will do is same thing here. I will change the time of day, but now I will set in the sunset. Yeah, we have the nice sunset with the new physical sky of Twinmotion 2020. In the weather, as you can see here, we don't have any weather and we don't have any smog. It's the default value. That means that the, the weather and the fog will evolve over time. As you can see here, slowly the particle of rain will stop the clouds will disappear and the fog will also disappear until we have the final keyframe which is this nice sunset. So now to finish what I want to show you is how to create a time lapse when you have more than two keyframes. So let me create a new part. Uh, on this specific part I will create like a fly through with multiple keyframes. So I'm just going to fly through my project getting closer to the main lobby area of my uh, my hotel so here i have my nice camera movement ah, we are getting a bit too close to this tree so actually what i'll show you is how to hide an object in one specific keyframes so i just open up the scene organizer i will just come back to my part i will click on the keyframe i will hide the tree and recapture and i will do the same thing on all my different keyframes to make sure this tree is not present uh, in my shot. So here I've just edited my different part and now my camera movement is nice and it doesn't collide with any vegetation. And now all my keyframes are set up at sunset, at like 8.30. What I will do, like for example, if I change the time of day in the general setting of my clip, it has changed for all my keyframes. And this is not what I want. So what I want to do is switch to start and ambience. That means that I can have a different time and project settings at the start, different that at the end. So I'll come to the end, and here at the end I will just change the time of day. And now, when I will be clicking on the play button, this will we will show the evolution of the sun across multiple keyframes. And you can use that to make the sun evolve, but also all other options like the weather, the depth of field, the focal. Here you can also change your part length. So you can change basically the speed of your animation. So I'm just going to switch to 30 seconds. So my camera is moving slower. So that was just a quick introduction to the new media tool. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks everyone.